Hello my lovelies, how are you all? So great to have you here. Um, today I'm really really excited because it's one of those times again where new nail colour. How amazing is that glitter? It's so beautiful. Oh, obsessed of course. Um, so I'm really excited to do a matching eye look for you just like before. Um, I'll definitely link the previous ones here as well for you to have a look at if you haven't already. Um, and let's just get straight into it. So I've already got my tickle sort of the same colors. This one's really beautiful. It's kind of a denim blue. It's got the most faint purple, kind of burgundy purple stripe through it um, and a lot of sort of silver speck. And I've paired it up with just a very basic, um, really beautiful shade of purple, which kind of matches the nail, I guess, closely enough. Um, and I've just left all these tails out the side. Look how pretty that looks. Um, I have had to use a couple of dress pins just to hold all these tails in place, but I really love the way it even feels as they um, wriggle around there. And so for the eye look, now I'm really excited to put a purple accent, maybe do like a dark purple smoke, and then do a really bright, shiny, shimmery silver, just like here. So where do we start? I think maybe we'll do a transition color because we are planning to do a pretty dark crease. I'm going to use a shimmer in the transition um, because I do want this whole look to be super sparkly. Um, it's like a dark champagne. I'm just going to use it right above and below the crease just so that I have something to transition with a bit later without dulling it out. So here we go. So for those of you who've seen previous videos, you'll know that next I'm going to probably go for one like this. I love this brush. It's just so soft and fluffy. It's by e.l.f. It was $3 um, in Australia, so I'm sure it's probably less overseas. Um, it's just so... It's just perfectly dense, perfectly fluffy, and just tiny enough where it gives you a lot of precision, um, but it still blends beautifully. So we're just going to use this to pack a lot of beautiful aubergine into the crease. That's my beautiful color there. Now this is actually a matte. Um, I figured that with the sparkle in the transition color, I don't need more sparkle just yet. But yeah, let's go in with this aubergine. that's that color there I'm now going to go back with a slightly darker purple an almost black purple and very very finely with this I'm going to go back with the same brush um, and pack that into just the crease okay so just help me really define that shape um, I think I could have just done the dark color really, but now I've actually achieved this beautiful transition of the got the dark and the medium purple, and then I've got the champagne color, and it's just really, really effective. Um, even though that wasn't the original plan, it actually worked out really well. That's the great thing about makeup, it just goes um, with the flow. So next I've got a slightly wet um, brush like this, got a little bit of um, setting spray on it, or priming spray would be better if you don't have an all-purpose kind of spray um, that's nice and natural. Um, so I'm going to use this now just to really, I guess, clean up the lid. The first colour I'm going to apply with my freshly cleaned area of the lid is this gorgeous silver. I'm going to use this pointy, very thick, um, dense brush. I'm just going to use something to really brighten up these corners. And this is a little bit challenging when you're using beautiful shiny colours on the lid. It's going to be a little bit challenging just to contrast it. So it's got to find something that's just bright enough. Um, and I might just use a more of a champagne kind of colour again, just lighter rather than a white. I've got this beautiful kind of eggshell kind of shimmer. I'm going to go right in the corners with it. Now I really get excited about this bit because I'm going to introduce some bright colours. I'm going to try and match that colour actually. I'm going to use a nice flat Cuscini, that brush is really flat brush there. I'm going to go into a beautiful bright purple. How beautiful is that? And I'm going to run it down my bottom lash line.
So that's how it looks. And what I've done is I've taken this beautiful bright magenta color um, and also run it on the inside of the light of the eye. Now I just showed you that for the color. What I did was wet it with setting spray to make sure that it was not going to um, just all get into my eye and be painful. Um, so I was very, very precise about using that. Okay, so now we can have a lot of fun with liquid eyeliner colors. I'll definitely have a black upper line somewhere um, to really stretch out and define and really make this look very exotic kind of esque. <laughs> um, but on the lower line, I'm going to really enjoy this color here. It's by NYX. The reason I choose this product is purely for the color. So I've just drawn it on to my finger just to show you how absolutely perfectly it matches. Okay, another really fun moment is this beautiful liquid eye definer in silver. Um, this is a little bit of a sort of shimmery colour rather than a glitter, so I think it'll go really, really nicely with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to start off in the inner corner. So what I've done with the black is we left a little bit of a gap between this beautiful line up there and the purple that we did originally. And in that gap, I'm going to add just a very fine line of the silver. So definitely something different. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, I think something like this would also benefit from maybe some kind of stick-on thing, maybe diamantes or glitter or... You could definitely take this the extra mile, or you could just do a very standard black liner and that would look extremely cute as well. Um, but I just love what's been created here. Alright, we definitely need some mascara and lipstick now. So I'll go away and do that and come back with the finished look. So there we have it. Um, just put some sheer lip gloss on the lip, um, just a pink shimmery tone. I just thought I'd keep it simple because the eyes are just so bright, so I thought it's just shiny and simple is perfect here um, and the mascara again just whatever was underhand I don't think it really is important as long as the lashes are standing out and if you need to falsies would look pretty cute here as well um, but yeah I think that this has definitely achieved a pretty perfect match to this nail look and I'm absolutely ecstatic with how that silver um, part of the look turned out and how beautifully contrasts against that gorgeous purple. All right my lovelies thank you again as always for coming along on this journey with me I absolutely love having you here um, if you have a minute just hit like for me um, if you did indeed like it if you have a comment please leave it it's really lovely hearing from you guys and if you're on Instagram um, I'd love to see you there as well leaving comments there as well there are more looks over there and wherever you are, I hope you're having an amazing night and I'll see you next time. Bye.